Crimson, Space Crusader. It was about halfway through the summer holidays, and I was struggling to keep everything under control. Wiz was helping me keep Captain Crimson hidden and fed, and we were both keeping a close eye on Dan, who was still acting pretty weird. And his weirdness went into total overdrive after he'd been sent a letter from the library, asking if he'd give a talk about his work for the Young Readers Holiday Club, which was run by a Miss Gina Clough. And by the time the day came, Dad had worked himself up into a complete state about making a good impression on Gina. I didn't think he'd be able to string two words together, never mind 20 minutes worth. Oh. 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 Dad. Ah. Oh. oh, not now, Thomas. Sorry, kid, but you have to let me panic in peace. I can't find that letter from the library. Oh. The one you stuck up here for safekeeping. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> so, today's a big day. Yep. Have you got back your flight? No, no, no. Just a herd of tap dancing rhinos doing the conga. You'll be fine. Mm. Would you like me to come with you? I could help you carry some things. Things? Do you think I should take things? What sort of things would I take? How should I know? Things that you would need, which would help you with your talk. You could take pencils and paper with you for the audience. Well, why, why should I want to do that? Well, you would need pencils and paper if you wanted them to write or draw anything. Hey, I suppose I could get them to do some sketches. Maybe I should. I would if I were you. So it's much more fun when you're in an audience and you get to join in. Uh -huh. Join in? <laughs> Pencils, paper, I've got it! Hey, everything snap wrapped, guys. This talk is in the bag. <laughs> Not quite, Dad. Why? Why? What have I forgotten now? Well, I don't think this club will be very impressed if you turn up in your pyjamas. <laughs> ah. Oh. What are you doing, Wes? I said I'd wash the tablecloths from the cafe, but I didn't realise there'd be this many. It's going to take forever. It could be quicker to do them at the laundrette. Oh, Thomas. That is an AC peach of an idea. Thank you. What? I didn't mean me, Wiz. I'm supposed to be on holiday. Take the captain with you. He can help. Captain Crimson in the laundrette. Put on the tap dancing rhinos. <laughs> Plan to come to the laundrette? Not really. I bet you don't even know what a laundrette is, do you? Yes, I do. Remind me. Thomas! I can't decide. What, what do you think about this? Uh, I'm not sure you should wear that bow tie. Oh, I knew it. I knew I should have bought the blue one. Where on earth am I going to find a blue bow tie at this short notice? Would you normally wear a bow tie to go to the library? Well, no, but I thought I should look a bit smarter today. Well, take that grungy old bow tie off, then. You look like somebody's granddad. Lose the bow tie, right, got it. Right, what now? This or this? You should wear the blue shirt. Oh, but I always wear that. That's why I like it. It's very you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's very me, blue shirt. It is, yes. Where would I be without you, eh? And a bow tie. Thanks, short stuff. You're a pal. Dad had got more and more frantic as he dashed about trying to get ready. We'd finally bundled him out the front door, but he'd pinged back in again, shouting that he'd just remembered he hadn't finished his Captain Crimson story. He had the whole thing in his head ready to tell the book club, but he'd forgotten to do the actual artwork. I'd promised that Amy and I would do it after we'd been to the laundrette for Wiz. Honestly, some holiday this had turned out to be. I'd never worked so hard in my entire life. Hello! Goodbye! This is truly fascinating. How can you get excited about a washing machine? Easily. Do people really come to this place to wash clothes? What's so strange about that? I have never heard of such a peculiar activity. All fabrics are self-cleaning where I come from. How does it work? Well, it's quite simple. The instructions are over there on the wall. 
This I have to see. One, put washing in machine. Two, fill container with powder. Powder? What powder? Washing powder. The soap that cleans your clothes while they're in the water. You pour water on your clothes? Whoa, what a bizarre operation. Three, close door. Four, insert exact money into slot. Oh, let me put the money in, please. All right, Captain, you can do it. But we haven't finished loading yet. Thanks, Amy. Five, wait for wash cycle to finish before attempting to open door again. But I'm the captain. Why can't I open the door if I want to? Because if you open the door before the water is done away, there'll be a flood all over the floor. Machines that cycle, doors that stop floods. This, I need to experience for myself. You need any help, love? Madam, could you tell me where I get the powder? Ah! Oh, oh. And poor Mrs. Thurkett, I nearly had a heart attack. Have you put the powder in yet? I have. I did it while you two were trying to bring Mrs. Thurkett around, and I found the stock for the coins. Look, I've got all the machines going. Let's see how much powder did you put in, Captain? Enough to fill all three containers, like the instruction said. Wiz hadn't given you nearly enough, though. I had to buy loads more. And, um, how much more is loads? Captain! What? Don't tell me you filled each washing machine that were powder. Naturally. I meant the container on top of the machine. Not the machine itself. How are we going to stop them? I don't know. We need to relieve the pressure. I'll open the... No! It took 10 billion light years to mop up the bubbles, and we'd had to put the linen through two more washes to get all the soap out. By the time we'd got home, the deadline was really looming for the Captain Crimson story. It was a good job Dad had left us some notes. Right, let's see what Dad's given us for the beginning of the story. Here we are. Sunshine, slight breeze, beach, sandy, sea warm. Hey, I'm a space crusader. Not a holiday maker. How am I supposed to be dashing and heroic on a beach? I'm sure Dad would have thought of something. Don't you ever take your crew anywhere for a few days off? Well, we sometimes visit Margation 12. It's a pleasant little astral island just north of Sector 23. Well, let's make a story there then. What shall we write? I know. The sun shone, full stop. There was a slight breeze, full stop. The beach was sandy, full stop, and... The sea was warm, full stop. So let me double check. We've got the sun shone, there was a slight breeze, the beach was sandy, the sea was warm. I don't know. What? Well, those sentences sound really short. Like a shopping list or something. I suppose they are a bit snappy. Couldn't we join the first two together? What, like the sun shone and there was a slight breeze? Yeah. Okay, so the sun shone and there was a slight breeze. Although, yes. Couldn't it be, but, the sun shone, but, there was a slight breeze? He's right. I prefer it like that. Right. So it's, the sun shone, but, there was a slight breeze. Now we need to... Sorry, Amy. Yes, Captain? Well, that first bit sounds so much better. Maybe we should do the same to the next two. Good idea. Rub it out, Ames. Right, I'll just rub it out. What shall we put? Hmm... The beach was sandy. I know, but the sea was warm. But the sea... No. What, no sea? No, I meant no to the but.